गुड मॉर्निंग प्रतीक गुड मॉर्निंग उद्धव गुड मॉर्निंग रत्नदीप गुड मॉर्निंग चंद्रशेखर गुड मॉर्निंग शार्दुल गुड मॉर्निंग अथर्व गुड मॉर्निंग रोशन
Okay, let's recap. So we have considered uh, the important socio-religious reformers after expansion of the Britishers. So very first reformer was <coughs> Swami Sanjananand. Originally he was named, no, he, uh, he had known as Gyan Sham. He, he was the founder of Swami Narayan sect in the state of Gujarat. Later on, you have come across Rajara Mohan Roy who founded Atmiya Sabha in 1815 in Calcutta to propagate reforms in the Hindu society. He later on named as, um, it named as Brahmo Sabha and finally further as Brahmo Samas, that is in 1828. Then there had been a movement to abolish Sati through a journal called Shabad Kamudi in 1819. He was followed by or succeeded by Devendranath Tagore. So Devendranath Tagore took over the leadership of Brahmo Samas right, after Rajaram Mohan Roy. Devendranath Tagore founded Tattva Bodhini Sabha in 1839, he started publishing Tattva Bodhini Patrika in Bengali, which was a monthly. And the purpose of that is to propagate the ideas of Raja Ram Mohan Roy right, on the, uh, towards reforms in Hindu society. In 1859, Tattva Bodhini Sabha amalgamated to Brahmo Samas. He compiled selected passages from Upanishadas known as Brahma Dharma. Later on again, in the, in the same Samas, particularly for Brahma Samas, you come across Keshav Chandra Sen, who was a leader of Brahma Samas in absence of Devendranath Tagore. He has started Bama Bodhini Patrika, which is a journal for women. Further, he launched radical reforms such as giving up of caste names, intercaste marriages, widow remarriages, movement against child marriages. Because of this, Brahmo Samas categorized right, as original Brahmo Samas known as Adi Brahmo Samas and other is as Brahmo Samas of India right, which was uh, established by Keshav Chandra Singh in 1866. Also he had formed Indian uh, Reforms Association in 1870. He persuaded through that association, the British government to enact the Native Marriage Act, right, which was later on passed as Native Marriage Act of 1872. It was also known as Civil Marriage Act, right, which legalized Brahmo marriages as well as fixed the minimum marriageable age for boys and girls. So, uh, this is the case you can consider as far as some of the reformers which we have considered in the yesterday's session. Right. Now,
So okay, so next reformer you can consider is Atmaram Pandurang. Atmaram Pandurang, probably fourth one, fifth one. Katmaram Pandurang. So he founded Prarthana Samas in 1867 in Bombay. Right. So this much is. On the Prarthana Sabhas on the Prarthana Samas in eighteen sixty seven in Bombay. In Bombay. Then you will come across Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Swami Dayanand Saraswati. So Swami Dayanand Saraswati originally. Uh, he was known as Mula Shankar, who founded Arya Samas in 1875 in Bombay. He wrote Satyartha Prakash, that which was in Hindi, and Ved Bhasha Bhumika. Right, that was partly in Hindi and partly in Sanskrit. So, Swami Dayanand Saraswati established or founded uh, Arya Samaj in 1875 in Bombay. It, so, this is what you can consider about Swami Dayanand Saraswati. It, so, originally known as He was mainly known as Mula Shankar. Mula Shankar. He founded the Arya Samas. Founded the Arya Samas in eighteen seventy five in Bombay. In Bombay, he wrote. He wrote Satyarth Prakash and Ved Bhasha Bhumika. Ved 
भाष्य भूमिका वेद भाष्य भूमिका फाइन सो दिस इज व्हाट वी कैन कंसीडर अबाउट द नेक्स्ट रिफॉर्मर नाउ फर्दर यू कैन कंसीडर हियर the see in this uh, one more name you can consider rather two names but they are not of indian origin right one is the russian woman and another is the american right and their names are the blavatsky and olcott right blavatsky b l a v a t S K Y Blavatsky Sky and Olcott. It is O L C O T T. Blavatsky Blavatsky Sky and Olcott. So this is Russian. And this is American. so both of them have established or uh, founded a society called theosophical society basically it was founded in new york in 1875 but in 1882 they have shifted the headquarter of the society near a uh, madras and the name of that place is adayar right so they said also worked for the reforms or for the betterment of the society particularly the indian society that right? or you can consider it as socio religious uh, one of the important socio religious uh, reformers right so they found it the you so the question is concerned again it is a factual question right so many a times i think match following likewise question is being on this right so they found it theosophical society in new york they basically it was established or founded in new york in 1875 then its headquarter then its headquarter shifted to adayar right which is near madras in 1882 right in 1882 so we can consider these reformers right if anybody wants you can take it
dan thank you said the next reform you can consider that is swami vivekananda swami viveka nanda right, so no originally he was known as narendranath datta he founded the ramkrishna mission in 1887 right as a social service league which was later on registered as a trust in 1897 Right. So you can consider. So originally known as he was originally known as Narendra Nath Dutt. Narendra Nath. Datta, right? So he founded the society. Uh, he founded the Ram Krishna Mission. Ram Krishna Mission in eighteen eighty seven, right? As a social service league, social service league, right? So later on, it registered. as a trust in 1897 hey right. so this is what you can consider as far as the reformers are concerned when right. now there had been some other movements right uh which can be called as the caste movements right and organizations right so you can uh just note down them right sometimes some of these you you may be coming across right so satyashodak samaj right where it is in maharashtra who had founded it jyotiba phule right you can consider mahatma phule right so i will just uh, write the names places and the founder satya शोधक समाज सत्य शोधक समाज सो इट वॉज इस्टैब्लिश इन एटीन सेवेंटी थ्री राइट हाउ द हिस्ट्री द ब्रेन स्कॉलर रिमेंबर समथिंग सी दीज थिंग्स आर रिमेंबर्ड एज द कास्ट मूवमेंट्स when so it in 1873 it was established where in maharashtra by whom right i will write jyotiba phule right jyotiba phule 
then the next one you can consider that is the depressed class mission society the depressed class mission society right which was established in 1906 where it is in bombay who had established it it was by vithal ramji maharshi uh, sorry uh, it is um, vithal ramji shinde right veera shinde keep in mind this name and then there had been the bahujan samaj established bahujan samaj established in 1910 in satara that that is in maharashtra by mukundrav patil mukundrav patil right then later on depressed class welfare institute right depressed class welfare institute so this was established a uh, far far later that is in 1924 right in bombay by dr baba saheb ambedkar that is b r ambedkar bear ambedkar further there have been harijan sevak sangh that could that you can consider uh, um, established at the last right prior to that there had been one movement which is called self respect movement self respect movement it was established in 1925 in madras by ev ramaswami ev 